Hi, Senna here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you the basic principles of smart template automation in Clause Buddy um, with the help of a document that I already have lined up here. Very, very rudimentary basic uh, employment contract. Um, what we'll look at is how to uh, actually perform an automation based on the two types of variable information that can be embedded in an automated document. And the first type is simple fields that have to be filled out, like a first name and a last name, um, nothing more, nothing less, just simple bits of variable information. Uh, and secondly, we'll also use some conditional logic to um, make a certain clause um, optional, that uh, drop it in or out of the, uh, of the document depending on a specific question and depending on a specific answer by the user. Um, but let's start with this first type of variable, these very basic fields that need to be filled out. Um, the only thing you really need to do is you need to highlight the variable fields in blue and that will be enough for Clause Buddy to realize that it can um, create questions on these uh, on these topics. So uh, once we've done that, we go to Templates and upload the active document. Uh, as you can see, Clause Buddy recognizes these these blue placeholders as being uh, variable information, and then we just add the questions from the document. Clause Buddy will extract all of the blue place uh, blue highlighted uh, placeholders. Uh, we'll give this group of questions a name like employment agreement, uh, for example. Uh, you can optionally um, tweak what type of answer you're expecting from uh, for this particular question. Um, in this case, Clause Buddy gets them all right. Obviously, we want text answers for all of these except for the date of the agreement, which is naturally going to be a date type field. Um, and then we'll add all of those questions, and that's it. That's pretty much the, we've, we've pretty much automated this document uh, for the first type of variable already. You can go to the test menu and actually experience that for yourself. If I fill out some nonsense here, immediately that nonsense appears on the right hand side. But as I said earlier, there is a second type of um, variable information and that is conditional logic, being able to drop clauses in or out, uh, drop paragraphs in or out, switch words in a sentence uh, depending on um, a specific answer by the user. Um, so what we can do to showcase that is to make this entire clause conditional. Um, and in order to do that, we, we apply the same principles. We're going to have a, a, a variable a bit of information. We're going to highlight it in blue. Um, and we'll start by formulating what question we're going to ask to the user. So in our case, we'll say uh, non-compete applicable question mark. That's part one. Part two is um, when is this clause actually shown? Well, that's of course if the user answers yes to our question, is the non-complete applicable uh, yes or no. So we'll do the we'll include the second element of the condition, which is equals true, and then a colon to proceed to the third element of the condition, uh, which is of course the text that needs to be shown. So a condition always uh, consists of three parts. First, the question asked to the user. Secondly, the answer that needs to be given. Um, by the user, and then thirdly, the result uh, of the user answering that question uh, in that way. Uh, and then we just repeat this condition for all the paragraphs that are made optional, like so. Um, and then we just update this uh, this document. So we, we, we communicate the changes that we made here to Clause Buddy, and then we can uh, add questions from the document again. This time you'll see that there's a new question called non-compete applicable. We can actually call that non-compete as well. And this time Clause Buddy gets it wrong. So it, it guesses that you want a text answer, but really what we want is a yes or no type answer. So we'll uh, communicate that, add all questions. And if we again go into our test menu, you can now see that we have an optional clause here. Yes or no, and it drops in and out of the document depending on what our answer is. And that's pretty much all there is to do, uh, all there is to see about um, uh, automating in, in uh, Clause Buddy. Naturally, there are uh, more types of, of conditions that you can make. Uh, for that, we also have a dedicated tutorial video.